But the human body, the greatest miracle of the divine is the human body, uh, the way to transform. And then we've got the transformation zone, which is the blend of the human self with the spiritual self. And that's where I spend most of my time. I don't know about you, but I spend most of my time in the transformation zone, which is great because that's why I'm here. Uh, but that can be the most painful zone. And I, you know, I was at a gym show uh, a few years ago, and how we, you know, we choose, we believe, uh, we all may have different words. Somebody may say they're divine, higher power, God. So when I use one of those, you can substitute it for what you use to give you that sense of that feeling. But uh, I went to a gym show, and this lady next to me was really sweet. She went up, she said, she asked the vendor, she said, I want the, the best gym that you can find to give me. I want the crystal that's going to give me my answers. I want the one that you know is going to get me through my human experience. And the man lifted this up to his heart, and he handed it to her. And she just started kind of crying, and you could see her relax. He could have picked any gym and given to her. But she believed, and she wanted, and she received. Okay? Uh, it's okay to be lost. I stay there a lot. Uh, when you're lost, it's not a bad thing because it means that you're raising to a higher awareness of something. The old's not working. You're, you're walking into something new. But it can be very scary. It can be like free-falling. Uh, you don't, you know, things that helped you in the past uh, are not working for you now. They may be a band-aid, but they're not pushing you forward. So, my son, uh, two weeks ago, he was in a, a bike race, and a dog came out after him and got hung up in his spoke. And the dog was fine. I want to tell everybody. That was, that was everybody's first question, was the dog okay? And yes, the dog was okay. <laughs> and then in the cycling community, is his bike okay? Yes, his bike's okay. But he ended up in the trauma unit. But he, he can move his arms. It's just very painful. He can move his legs. Uh, he broke three ribs but didn't puncture his lung. He fractured three vertebrae in his neck but did not damage his spinal cord. He, his sister was looking after him. But it carried me back to the very beginning of my feelings, my loss, my fear, all of that, and I got totally lost once again for about five days. And I'm thinking, this is really great timing. I'm going to be speaking at a conference, <laughs> and I'm lost as the dickens. But, but a friend of mine said, Janie, maybe they need to know it's okay to be lost. And so I added that slide. And this is what I do when I'm lost. I embrace the learning. And I cherish my questions with an open heart. And like Annie said, you just ask. You ask, and you're going to get the answer in some amazing ways. I surround the people that let me be me. Okay? I, I don't... I've got some friends that understand when I'm being different moods, whatever, and they love me just as much. I'm real with my emotions. I accept them. I don't fight them. They either flow through me or they get stuck and then they end up knocking me over like a tidal wave if I don't deal with my emotions. Lose yourself in something you love. And I actually found this on Joanne's refrigerator, a note that said, get rid of anything that doesn't make you feel beautiful and loved. And I have actually done that. It took a while. It's hard to let go. And keep life simple. 
you know, how important are you? What the course of how many people's lives are you going to change if you're out there performing 50,000 things saving the world? You know? I uh, ran into somebody that came up and said, do you remember me? And I could tell we had met, but when we talked, he was so reassuring. And I saw him this morning, and he was reassuring. And it was somebody that had heard me several years ago. What I'm hoping for him is that he reassures himself. 